It was at the end of the last century, back in 1999, when express package delivery giant UPS ordered a fleet of new Airbus A300 freight aircraft. And just over 20 years later, the company has made a significant investment to modernize the flight decks of 52 of these aircraft in a bid to get another two decades of service from them. Honeywell is installing its latest Primus Epic avionics suite in the twin jets, which were all delivered to the US operator between 2000 and 2006. Now for the UPS pilots, the upgrade should mean much greater operational flexibility by allowing easier access to airports, mainly through having a much larger navigation database in the flight management computer. Believe it or not, the original computer only had 200 kilobytes of storage space. This meant that flight crews were only able to upload a limited volume of airport data, requiring some fussy workarounds to get the information they needed to operate in many locations. It could take 45 minutes or more to upload data for additional airports when required, or controllers would have to put flights in a holding pattern until they had time to provide individual support on approach. Well, the Primus Epic package also delivers some better safety features, such as improved situational awareness for pilots with the addition of vertical guidance capability. Also new are features such as the ability to predict when wind shear will happen and a terrain collision avoidance system. UPS believes the upgrade will guard against obsolescence for the A300s until at least 2035. Of course, these aircraft are still powered by the original Pratt & Whitney PW4158 turbofans, which are not exactly at the cutting edge of fuel efficiency. So it remains to be seen whether UPS and other carriers might be able to make the business case to modernize the engines too. In the wake of the COVID pandemic, demand for air freight services has significantly outpaced that for passenger flights. Typically, airlines have tended to use older aircraft for cargo operations, and this can involve converting former passenger airliners like the Boeing 747. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.